Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and I'm here for the first episode of Trendy Tuesday for the month of June and this month we are doing a really fun theme of doing 80s and 90s so it's called Take Us Back, um, Take Us Back June and my first one is going to be a modern, like a, it's a daily out, <laughs> but with um, a reference to a 90s TV show. So um, I'm titling it um, Little Less Rachel, Little More Monica. And that is going to be with these photos that are going to go with them. And it's just talking about, um, it's kind of tongue in cheek, um, but it's going to kind of talk about like, you know, maybe take on a little more responsibility than just being out there and, and all of that. So I'm excited to get started and I have a few ideas about using these two pieces of pattern paper. They're both from Crate Paper. Um, this one's Hello Love and this one's Heart Day. So I'm thinking about incorporating those in there too and we'll see what I can create uh, for the this first one. And then next week I do plan to do more of an actual um, theme with, with product that will make you think more of the, the 90s. Because I was born in 87, so I won't be doing a lot of 80s stuff, but I definitely am gonna work with the 90s thing. All right guys, get you on fast forward. So I've grabbed these two pattern papers from some Valentine's Day lines, and I'm going to just use this first one as my border for my my little Instagram photo I have there. And I tore the, the one piece so that it had a little bit of interest to it. And then I'm gonna take the second sheet I believe this is from the Hello Love collection. And I'm going to trim my photo first. So the photo is the same photo as the larger one on the Instagram. But I just really liked it. So I thought I would double up on it. So I really love that. But it just cannot be completely that floral. It's it's way too overpowering. And I'd like to say a little bit of that uh, for another layout. So I'm going to just take my ruler and literally split it in half. <laughs> I figured it would work. I was also thinking like, what if I wanted to use that wood grain? So I'm just gonna, oh, I don't, I thought I used my ruler. I actually just trimmed it in half there. And that way I can grab a piece of white cardstock and um, do a little bit of mixed media because who doesn't want some mixed media on their layout? But I really like this contrast here. So that pop of pink with the Instagram photo and then the other one just is going to get placed on that beautiful floral. And then I'm going to place my, um, excuse me, my title just right across my photos like I was showing you. But first, um, onto my mixed media. So I'm using Foiled Again and the Tutti Fruity Dazzlers. And my um, stencil, this is one I got from an Amy Tan collection, and it's the floral. And I was just marking off with my pen where this uh, paper's going to land because I don't want to add too much if I don't need to. Like, I didn't want to waste it. And I'm going to use one of my palette knives here for spreading it. Now, I got a collection of them that are, I think there's like six different options that you can use and this one is not the one for stencils like it is way too big and awkward I needed a smaller one so next time I'll make sure to use one of my smaller um, palette knives because it would work a lot easier but I'm just going here and I'm spreading pink on those two sides and then I start um, you're gonna see I also take it and just rotate it and put it to the side here now this did not turn out to the side piece um, because <laughs> I added gray on top of it. So I'm showing you what the finish looked out. That looks horrible. But the gray pink, gray pink is really pretty. I like that. So I'm just like, oh, what am I going to do? Put my photos back down and thought, you know what? I can make this into a 9 by 12 I've been digging that size currently anyways, so I might as well just go with it. So you will see me trim my whole layout down from 12 to 12 to a 9 by a 9 by 12 I did attempt to look for some florals here, like you can see, but that really, um, it's not going to cut it. It just, again, I was also thinking like when I did my journaling, what would really work to make that um, not just kind of awkward because there'd still be a big kind of gap in between so I don't know I was thinking about it I even go into my paper strips my border strips here and I'm trying to grab some border strips I wanted to add some teal because my one of my fonts for the the title is in teal but 
I didn't really see that. So I saw that black pin, pin stripe or whatever you want to call it, black and white striped. And I was like, well, that might work. Thinking, oh my god, oh, I just, I didn't know. So I was playing around um, with it, not really sure what I wanted to do. And I'm like, well, I'm going to give myself a minute and I'm going to place my title down first because that I can do. I know where that's going and I, like, let me, me just think on how, how I'm going to fix this huge mistake that I made with the, that floral. So there, my title is down. I'm loving it. I like how it spreads across my photo. And I like the fact that because there's two of the same photo, I could put my letters on the picture of myself and not feel like I'm covering anything up. So that was neat. And there you can see uh, my trimmer is still broken. So I just use my ruler to mark down where I need to tear things. So I'm just going to tear that to a 9 by 12 like I was talking about. So I'm liking this. Now this is much more manageable and I think definitely helps convey, um, I don't know, I just really like the way it looks much better like this. So, okay, now I'm like, well, what do I do now? <laughs> I'm thinking about the fact that I need to add a floral somehow. So I grabbed this beautiful floral. I'm just playing around with where I think it should go on this layout. Um, kind of placing it around, but it is going to end up living right there. Just that little pop there. I like that. It kind of offsets the floral pattern paper as well. I'll draw my journaling lines and think about what I'm going to journal. Um, I don't do much. Basically, what it's talking about is how I always, especially when I was younger, consider, like thought I would be like a Rachel from Friends. <laughs> and really, um, I'm not at all. I'm very much more of a Monica. Um, or at least I try to be. I'm not the tidiest like Monica. I don't have those OCD tendencies though. I, I tell you, Sean sure wishes I did. Um, but there's a lot of other characteristics from her that I have. And so I just kind of wanted to document that because I seriously growing up really thought I was going to be like a Rachel and it just did not turn out that way at all. In fact, I'm probably even more Phoebe than I am Rachel. <laughs> So that's what it's about. Just kind of a fun play on on that. And it just makes me think of Friends right away. And I would think that if you watched that show and you enjoyed it, it would make you think of it too. So that's that's all it is. That's my throwback to the 90s for this layout. And now I'm going to grab some of these beautiful, beautiful cork butterflies. I love them. I take three of them and I just kind of scatter them across my page. And then I'm going to just kind of dabble with where I'm going to put my sequins. I kind of cluster them at first and then I was like, oh, I go off camera because it was bothering me and I end up just randomly placing them down after I write my journaling. But you'll see that because at first I'm just trying to use just the teal and the pink. Um, but I wanted to use all of them. This is the um, Too Cool For You or B... I think it's too cool for you is what these ones are. I'll have the link below though. And I, so I ended up doing my journaling in a navy blue Sharpie, which really, really helped so that when I added my navy, um, blue sequins, they all kind of mixed together. So I was just showing you that and that my final piece is cause now I had that, I needed to add navy somewhere else. So I'm just adding this little piece of pattern paper and I'm going to, trim that a little bit and then add a tiny sliver of that same pattern paper back onto the left side by the journaling. Add a few flowers, um, florals from the Hazelwood collection puffy stickers and that will wrap up my layout. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of a different play on the 90s theme that we've got going on for this month but I really love the way this layout turned out. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Bye!